Continuing the incredible disinformation that Austin Witsit was spouting when he was talking with Harrison Smith on InfoWars, this exchange happened. Like the moon is a sphere, right? Can we agree on that? Because, I mean, to me, it's, it's pretty undeniable. The moon is, in fact, a sphere that we can all see. Do you agree with that? Well, I've never seen the other side of the moon, but it, I would agree that it looks somewhat spherical, sure. What is this? If you said it's a ball, you're right, but how did you know? You didn't see the back of it. That's how desperate the Flat Earthers are. Of course the moon is a sphere. There's no need to see the back of it to know that. Um, okay. But, you know, I've, I've replicated a moon, like with a polarization, where it looks like a sphere. Um, and you can walk over there and put your hand right through it, right? It project, it's a projection. Uh, just with the electromagnetic polarization in the Atmos, you could have a... I don't know what the moon is. Here is a series of real photographs of the moon over several months. Does that look like an electromagnetic polarization in the Atmos? Right now, you might be wondering what electromagnetic polarization in the Atmos is. Welcome to the wonderful world of Witsit Word Salad. He's a five-star muddling chef. His speech is a symphony of paradox, where obscurity and ambiguity perform a delicate dance, leaving the listener both baffled and bewildered. This tactic is very successful on the gullible, and he uses it constantly, like he did here. On, on the moon phases, real quick, uh, I was curious, what, what is a full moon and what is a new moon on your model? I think it's a, I think it's probably like a magnetic cycle and just like the center of a feral cell image of a magnet, it's just completely black. It's actually just pure inertia in the center the feral cell image of a magnet. I think that's what it is. It just actually goes into its its inertial state, then charges back up. And once it becomes like etherically displaced again, you start to see it charge up throughout a cycle and it goes back. It's unclear if Witsit dines on his own word salad or if he only crafts it to stupefy his audience. What do you think? Does Austin believe his own nonsense? Or is it just a farce to get that valuable grift money? Let me know in the comments. Now, Austin said he replicated the moon with polarization. We all know he didn't. Did the polarization have changing shadows like the moon does? Did it have different phases? Did it appear circular regardless of the angle you viewed it from? Or... Could you send radar to that electromagnetic polarization in the Atmos and have it take two and a half seconds to bounce back? Of course not. There's a reason Flat Earthers must reject the idea that the moon is a sphere. Because this absolutely, completely, totally destroys the idea that the Earth could be flat. Here's a screenshot from the Flat Earth Clock app. You can see the moon is over Africa, and the app actually shows the correct phase of the moon. If the moon is a sphere over Flat Earth, what would a person standing in Egypt see? The full moon. What about Nigeria? Half moon. In Tanzania, they would see a half moon as well, but the other half. And someone in South Africa would see the rear of the moon. In reality, everyone sees the same view of the moon at the same time, no matter where you are. You see how it's not possible for the Earth to be flat and the moon be a sphere? So they must reject the moon being spherical and replace it with magic. But I would agree, yeah, it does. It's certainly round and looks like it could be a sphere. I've never seen the other side of it before. So I can't say I know it's a sphere, right? Coincidentally, we only see the one side. But the shadows on the moon certainly make it look like a sphere, right? I mean, unless you have another explanation for why the shadow moves the way it does across the, the moon, I mean, it's, it's, it basically has to be a sphere, right? I mean, are you saying that the moon is a projection or do you think it's a physical object? I don't know what the, what the moon is. I'm just saying I'm not, like a lot of evidence has suggest that it's not particularly solid, actually. Like there are, even the Astral, Astronomical Society said that they've seen stars through the moon um, there are things called lunar waves. Harrison asked if Austin had another explanation for how the shadows move. And Austin has nothing, so he changed the topic to the insane lie that you can see stars through the moon. 
Austin said the National Astronomical Society, but I think he meant the Royal Astronomical Society. I searched for reports of seeing stars through the moon. There are none. But I did find some reports from the 1800s about seeing stars get occulted by the moon slightly out of face, and I'll link them in the YouTube description if you want to review them. Here is a video of Mars getting blocked by the moon. Looks like the moon forgot to be transparent. Here we see Venus blocked by the moon. You can also see that the phase of the moon and the phase of Venus are the same, another confirmation that the sun is lighting both of them from very far away. There's no shortage of photos showing the earth shine on the moon. Maybe Witsit is thinking about his favorite bedtime book. Austin, that's just a drawing. It's not real life. It's super easy to verify if a star is seen through the moon. Name the star. Every visible star has been named. The relative positions of all the stars have been measured. So get a photo, or better, a video, of the star and compare to the other stars in the shot. This has never been done. Austin is just lying. Or maybe he's not lying and he's just parroting a lie. In that case, he's a gullible sheep. Either way, it's not a good look. And finally, Austin talks about the lunar wave. It will come as a surprise to nobody to find out that air is a fluid. There are flowing air currents all the time. This causes slight fluctuations in our view of things through the air, like the moon. The lunar wave he's talking about is just the front crest of a wind current. It's not like astronomers have known about this for centuries. Next time I'll cover Witsit's misinformation about gravity, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be the first to comment.